We've all been dying to see, and with jolly good reason, because look how utterly stunning this karma and bee eater is. This is only the second, no, that's not true. It's the only second one I've seen live um, since the start or the return of the karma and bee eaters to this area. But isn't it utterly gorgeous in this afternoon light? That pink and green contrast. Not very difficult to see where the name of this particular bird species came from. Oh, bye-bye. Might come back. Oh, wow. Coming back. No. Ooh, changing direction. It's after something. <clears throat> Hold on a moment. It might come back to the same perch if it doesn't manage. They often do. Oh, this one's playing games with us. No, it's decided to go onto the dead tree. Oh, except for that one that is over there. Well done, Viv. <laughs> I didn't see that one. The whole time I was busy looking at the one the other one was doing. <laughs> I must have got them mixed up in the air. There's two of them. The other one is in a dead tree that's off to my right, but I can't even see it anymore. The Zovium did a far better job of keeping... There it goes. <laughs> I didn't know there were two either. I must have got them mixed up as they flew past. Here we go. There's number two or number one. I'm not quite sure which. Hey, look at that. Look how utterly exquisite it looks with this sort of sheen. We don't really think of them as being shiny birds when we see them. We think of them as being very vivid and very vibrant, but not shiny. And you can actually see that they do have a real glimmer to their feathers, just as quite a few of the birds do, starlings and so on. All made by an overlay of a keratin. And it changes the way that the light strikes the feather. Utterly stunning birds.